we're marking the 65 years of relationship between the Philippines and the Vatican with the dip diplomatic relations next year, 2016. I would like to describe our relationship as very close and, and blessed. I don't know, because we've, we have had three visits from the Pope, three Popes visited the Philippines. And you know how the Filipinos are. They really, very religious, and that makes us close to the Vatican. The Filipinos here are loved by all the Italians. And I'm very happy that this is so. The three popes that have gone to the Philippines, uh, Paul VI, who's my pope, <laughs> and JP II, and of course, Pope Francis. The image of Our Lady of Peña Francia is well loved here, and I think all over. The Filipinos really look up to her as the, their virgin. And they're all excited about it. And I think it will be 14th. I'm very pleased to share that the mosaic image of Our Lady of Peña Francia will be, will be placed among the 14th virgins in the Vatican Garden. And here, the Filipinos are really very, very devoted to Our Lady of Pena Francia. And they're paying for everything. It costs a fortune, but they're all paying. The Filipinos from, the, from Manila send us money to pay for the mosaic. We believe in doing our part in helping the pilgrimage that are coming here for the Jubilee. And uh, a lot of Filipinos will be coming here for that. Uh, they'll be all over. Just as um, in the Philippines and everywhere the Filipinos are, the image is really respected and their devotion is very, very great. And here, a lot, there are a lot of Filipinos here. Every, you know, my daughter told me, Mommy, Saturday, Sunday, Please rest. I said those are the worst days because the, the Filipinos always have mass in their communities and they always invite us. And I feel that we can help them. Well, uh, the visit of the president here, I think it will be on the 4th that they will, he will see the Holy Father. It is really, I'm so happy because it really gives us, uh, the Filipinos at least, to show the, th the gratefulness that we have for the visit of the Holy Father in Manila. And uh, I was there in Tacloban when he was there, and I'm sure all of you saw it. And everybody was crying, all the kids, ch so many children all over the place. And he was really touched. He spoke, he wanted to speak in, Sp in first English, but then said, I'll speak in Spanish. So he spoke in Spanish because it's from the heart. And the visit of the president here with the Holy Father is very significant. It shows that he's very great. The Filipinos are very grateful for the visit of the Holy Father in Manila. Almost every Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, they have always affairs, mass everywhere in all their communities. And uh, their devotion is so great. Of course, in the Philippines, it's completely changed. The young kids hardly go to mass now, but here they're still going. And now with the Holy Father in his uh, Wednesday audience, full, full of children. He really loves the kids and he shows it. We have around 3,000 Filipino priests and nuns in Italy. They are loved and respected for their work and caring habits. And it really makes us all happy that, I'm happy that I'm ambassador in this place because uh, even in Spain, when uh, there was a young kid that was there taking, being, uh, being brought by her yaya to mass and the parents didn't go to mass. So uh, she said, I want you to go to mass with me. 
And they started going to mass, the children, the, with the parents. And it was because Filipina nurse told her, yes, we have to go. And every day, every day they would go. And it has really built the communities of the Filipino here. Many of them minister to the Filipino communities, especially uh, these are the, the church base here in Italy, in Rome, and a hundred, about a hundred Filipino church base around Italy. Here in Rome, it's 50. In January of next year, we're going to have the Eucharistic, International Eu Eucharistic Congress in Cebu. <clears throat> the last time we had it was in 1937, which happened in Manila. This is very important, significant affair because it brings us, especially, and the whole nation, we're expecting around uh, pilgrims all over the world. We're very happy to have the opportunity to have President Aquino come and visit the Holy Father. It is really, uh, we've been waiting for it, and I'm so happy that it's happened now while I'm still here. We thank the President for coming and sharing the ardent affection of the Filipinos, responding to the visit of the Holy Father went to Manila. And uh, the beginning of, and this is the beginning of the Jubilee Year of Mercy, which is in 2016, Eucharistic Congress in Cebu. We hope for more diplomatic engagements between the, uh, the Philippines and the Vatican. And we thank the president especially for uh, coming here to show the affection that we have.